Hello people of the internet. I know I've been trying to steer my channel more and more in the direction of photography, but now and again, I do feel compelled to make a video on the absolutely fantastic WordPress theme, which is of course Generate Press. This video is based on one of my guides I've published on my personal website. Because it's received quite a few visitors, I do know there are a few people at least who are interested in what I'm about to talk about. Today, I'll be showing you how to add related posts to your WordPress articles in Generate Press. A quick primer. I truly believe that Generate Press is the best theme for WordPress and I use every plugin the developers of that theme have released. That includes the plugin I'll be using to display related posts, which is WP Show Posts. If you don't know a thing about Generate Press, I will link one of my earlier videos somewhere up here for your enjoyment. Before I get going, I did want to inform you that there are easier ways of doing this. There are a bunch of WordPress plugins which will display related posts based on tags, categories and what have you. So why won't I use one of those plugins and spare myself the manual labor? The answer is simple, I don't trust them. But I do trust WP Show Posts and Generate Press, and I do like having full control over my websites. To follow this guide, you will need to have a few things installed on your WordPress website. You will need Generate Press along with GP Premium, and if you haven't bought that yet, I will leave an affiliate link in the description, and I'm thankful for anyone who uses it. And you will also need to have WP Show Posts installed. I also use the premium version of that plugin and can definitely recommend it. In this video I'll be using my website homeassistantguide.com as an example. I want all the home assistant guides to be displayed after each article which has the category home assistant guide. In WP show posts I've set up a list which will display articles that have been assigned the category home assistant guides. I have set the posts per page to free because I think free related posts are best for this site. Accordingly, I've also set the number of columns to free. Because I want my articles to load as fast as possible, I won't enable any images and I'll just have the excerpt and title displayed. There's one more important thing to enable here located under more settings. Make sure you enable exclude current. What that option does is not display the article your visitor has just read. And with that, my WP show post list is ready. We can now copy the short code and move on. All we have to do now is display the posts somewhere on our website. And for that, I'm using Generate Press Elements, which can be enabled as part of GP Premium. What you'll want to do is create a new hook and paste the short code of the list we've just created. I'm going to hook this into Generate Before Comments Container. As the name suggests, that will display the list before the comments container. Make sure you enable the option to execute short codes. With that out of the way, we can move on to the tab Display Rules. You'll see that I have three categories enabled and that is just because I've got multiple subcategories to the main Home Assistant Guides category. You can now finish the configuration by clicking on Update. And just like that, you've placed related posts underneath your articles. And now comes the part where I tell you the bad news you've been expecting all along. You will have to do this for each and every category. There is no other way around it, except of course using one of the other WordPress plugins I mentioned earlier. But I wanted to use WP Show Posts, so this is how I've done it. I'll show you just a few more examples of how the related posts could look like. First is my personal website, liamalexcoleman.net where I've also added a background image and the excerpt appears when you hover over one of them. All that is done using WP Show Posts. And the second example is from my food blog where I've gone with just the title and an image. And that's how I've added related posts to all of my websites. And I will continue to do it this way for the foreseeable future. Leave any questions you might have in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer all of them. All right, that's been enough from me for one day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.